India's largest e-commerce company Flipkart has been hiring some key talent from Silicon Valley recently. One of them is Piyush Ranjan, who is VP of Engineering at Flipkart. We are glad to have Piyush today at Mobile Sparks with us. Hi Piyush, welcome. There are a lot of people, there's a chunk of population who experience online shopping for the first time on mobile. What kind of uh, strategies from your side go behind it in terms of designing, giving them that experience? Mobile you know? is a lot more than the app that you install. So we are trying to make sure that people have the best experience on their mobile devices. If you, for example, have a mobile device, it is probably easy for the mobile device to tell where you live and where you work. Now you tie that with something like Flipkart. If you want a package delivered, do I need you to enter address form by form or do, I, do you just say, hey, here is where you know, send me the package, right? We recently uh, launched a feature called Visual Search, where you can take a picture, like the kurta you're wearing, I can, if I like it, I can take a picture, and I can now suddenly find that on there. And this is something which would be like, imagine doing this on a desktop, right? It would just not easily work. Engineering department, big responsibilities. But if I talk about top three challenges which you are facing today, what are those challenges and, and you know, what are the interesting developments which are happening? So I, I think I would uh, characterize these as areas of investment which we want to really get into. Uh, the amount of data which we uh, receive about, you know, whether it is the products which are on sale or the purchases which the users do, we want to use that to give way better experience to each user than we do today. We are obviously getting into a lot of technologies which are even more powerful now that we are talking about mobile devices. Um, camera, like what happens in computer vision, speech recognition, location, uh, you know, gestures, all these kind of things we are investing a lot more in. We obviously are operating at one of the largest scales uh, of any Indian uh, online uh, company and therefore we have to make sure that our infrastructure and systems are also able to operate at that scale. About e-commerce, right, how it has evolved has been very interesting over the last uh, two, three years especially. How do you see it evolving in the next uh, 12 to 18 months? What I see happening is it becoming more and more natural. Like the way you expect uh, commerce to happen, that is how I expect e-commerce to happen. Uh, one of the examples which you know, really helped Flipkart quite a bit was cash on delivery. Now take the world before cash on delivery and the world after. People were used to paying for things a certain way. If you did not have cash and delivery, you asked them for a credit card or something, that was such an unusual thing for 98% of the country that it would be hard for you to make inroads with them. So the question is, what are the barriers to natural experience and what purchase would be like? Like, am I able to have an experience where I can try things before I say, yes, I'll buy it? Or am I able to ask my wife, what do you think about this while I'm, you know, shopping? Or am I able to look at something uh, and compare it with 12 others, just like I would go to a store and say, okay, show me the 12 phones, tell me what is better, right? So there are many of these which are natural experiences which happen when I go and do a purchase, and the fact that I'm doing it on e-commerce should naturally be uh, there. Thank you so much for joining us, Piyush. Thank you. Nice to have you. Thank you. Welcome, Girish. We're very happy to have you here with us. If you had to pick one reason, what would it be? for the success of uh, Freshdesk? The number one reason why Freshdesk is successful is the product. So we have the best product in the industry. Budli, which started in Kolkata in 2013, moved to Bangalore a few months ago, and now the eight-member team operates from here.